Hi, it's Karen here. Thank you for joining me. Um, today I thought we would uh, do a, a two little watercolour paintings as a nod to spring because it's just around the corner now. Um, so this is what I thought we would be be nice to paint today. Um, <clears throat> As always, I'll put the uh, description of the materials that I use below and this is what we're going to be painting. So let's get started. Um, well, I think I'll start with um, the closed cup uh, uh, tulips first <clears throat> and I'm just going to with clean water, just just make a closed cup shape, and then I'm going to just drop in <clears throat> just drop in the um the watercolour um, it's not so easy to see but if you just run your paint where you've uh, put your your shape for your um, tulips you'll get that lovely diffused look which is which is brilliant again I'm just going to offer that in Now, I'm working in three because <clears throat> I prefer three, but you can put as many in as, as you as you like. Um, so if you want to do a deeper, a deeper colour, that's good. Um, just using a creamier consistency of paint now. Just dropping that in. And it just helps us to give that lovely painterly feel um, and soften our edges up for us, um, which is um, a particularly nice technique to, to use. Okay. Now, if you want to add a little bit more water just so your um your tulip bleeds a little bit more absolutely you can do that it does give a nice a nice feel <clears throat> now i'm going to put a little creamy orange in just to just to soften that up a bit and just change the colour up a smidge just a little bit or if you prefer just leave it with the um <coughs> excuse me with the colour, the original colour that you've already put down. Now, I'm going to um, change my brush up and uh, I'm going to use my Princeton 6 round. Only because tulips have that thick, don't they? That uh, that thick, um, almost succulent-like uh, stems and leaves. Now... I don't mind if that bleeds up into the into the goblet shape, the cup. Quite quite a nice watery feel. Um, and there you can see we've put the stems in. Now again, I'm gonna load my brush up. Um, I'm not colour mixing 
at the moment using straight from the pan and with my brush I'm just going to with the tip and then I'm going to push down and then just leave let just relax it and and let it go again and then and on this one I'm just going to pick it up and turn it down just so it gives us a nicer feel on our leaves okay again and if you want to put another stem in absolutely now you can put as many leaves in as you as you like it's totally up to you now if you want to go over with a, a stronger green absolutely you can and just run that down but I, I quite like the um, I, I quite like the bleed of the of the red or the, or of the the color of the tulip going into the into the um, stem I, I I don't mind that at all but if you if, if you're not keen on that look then you can change that if you prefer okay you can do as many as you like now I am going to put a little bit more up into the up into the goblet so we're just going to let that one dry now and then I'm going to set that one aside just to dry off <clears throat> and we're going to use a more of an open cup now I'm still going to stay with my um, size six uh, That will um, enable us to get a really nice bulb shape. So and these ones we we'll do a little bit more open. So again, with the just put some water down. And this one, I'm going to change the colour up. And we're just going to drop that almost like a horseshoe shape. Okay. Put a bit more stronger colour in, and this time I'm just going to bring my brush. I'm using the side, not the flat of the brush, but the side of the brush, and I'm just pushing, just pushing up, upwards, upwards. Okay. Now, if you want to, which gives a nice effect, you can use some kitchen roll or some paper tissue and you can just scrunch it up because we want some nice, um, we want some nice highlights. And we can use that by, by taking some of the paint off and that gives us some really nice highlights. And also gives us some nice texture. And then <clears throat> I'm going in with a deeper colour. And this time I'm going in with a, a really nice purple. And I'm just going to drop it in. 
just drop it in the base and just let that feather up, just bleed up. Now, if your um, if your paint is um, your paper is a little bit damp, um, not damp enough, and you want it to bleed up, just help it along by just feathering it up, and it will give you a nice. And at this stage, you can just turn it on its head and just. As you can see, it's moving quite nicely and you can just move it around because it's those lovely shapes that we that we want to give us the illusion of the petals. I'm just moving my paper and holding them in different directions. OK. <clears throat> and then. Again, I'm just going to just, just tickle. Now, if you think that that colour's a little bit too bold, and it's a, it, you think, oh, that's too dark. Don't worry, it will dry lighter. Um, and I'm just going to. Again, put these these lovely stems in, and I think it's quite nice to um, to have your stems going in, not all regimented, all going down. It's nice to kind of change the composition. Again, I'm just going to introduce the the green paint up into the cup of the um, tulip and again if you want to just just take out a little bit of that just to give us a more of a diffused more of a diffused look and then again we'll just Put some leaves in these lovely big leaves <clears throat> then just push the tip of your brush and then push down and then just let it go back to its point and it will just help you get those lovely tulip leaves and don't be afraid to go over the leaves uh, the stems with your leaves I think that gives us a nice a nice effect and also take I'm going to use a different color green just to add a little bit of contrast Um, let's try putting one in here on this page. There you go. And then what I think I might do is, excuse me, with my pencil, I'm just going to make these little petal Now you don't have to do this if, if, you, if you're happy with what you've already done, then absolutely leave leave that but while the while the, the paint is still wet it really gives it a nice a 
nice accent. Okay, now mine is still wet, but I'll just um, bring the other one back. And as you can see, mine on this one has run. And I don't mind that, but I'm just going to go in and just clean up these. these petals and um, sorry these leaves and then so if you if it's if your paints run too much and you think oh I'm not so keen on that don't worry you can add some lights or some darks in that's absolutely fine just going to put another um, Just a few more darks in and then for a final floré if you would like to um, you can just give it a little a little splatter and that's quite sweet if you prefer to leave it then no splattering for you then absolutely but that here we have it two really easy and quick little um nod to spring with our tu with our tulips hope you give it a go and uh thank you for joining me and hope to see you again soon bye <laughs>